Good morning and welcome to Froome and the start of the Saxon King's Way. From here in Froome we're going to take Saxon King's Way to Bath. Hopefully it's well signposted with the two crowns. We need to go off in this direction. Just walked along by the river and then across the river here and wander up this path here. across the railway line now. I believe that this is uh, the railway line that goes up to the quarry that you pass on the Mendit Way as you come into Froome. I'm going to carry on down here. Starting to climb up now and I uh, wondered if I might find any um, signs with the two crowns and this is the first one. So hopefully there'll be a few more. Right, just head up into the woods now. So this is Orchard Lee Church. It was built in the 13th century and underwent extensive renovations in 1878. And it's been designated as a Grade 1 listed building. It's supposed to be one of the places to get married, I believe. Yeah, very nice. Home from home, Gloucester Farm. <laughs> right, this is uh, Lullington. I'm going to wander up into the village. Oh, a little water pump. Yeah. Lovely little village. Guess that was a school. Yeah, it's very nice. So this is the parish church of all saints. Really nice. And I noticed here that there's actually a sign that says there's uh, free tap water available here to uh, refill your water containers. Go straight through farm courtyard this garden yep we're obviously still going the right way sign there Saxon King's Way right into this bush <laughs> and we've arrived at Laverton Church quite a cute one it's a manor farm Right, uh, how do we open this? I think it just slides backwards. There we go. Pretty small. Time for a stop. Something to eat. A lovely little bridge across the stream. Oops, come on, focus. There we go. I might just sit here and, uh, oops, it's somebody's garden. Perhaps I can't sit here. <laughs> go onto the road, see if there's anywhere up there. Quite a big equestrian area here. Lots of paddocks, lots of rather smart looking horses. It's a sign saying keep to the footpath, keep dogs on leads. Just arrived at Norton St Peter. There's the uh, George Inn over there. Reputed to be the oldest inn in Britain. But there's uh, quite a lot of those sort of claims. Uh, across the road is the Fleur de Lis. And we're going to wander up here. Out of town. This is the church at Hinton Charter House. Quite a large, impressive tower, that's for sure. Yeah, nice little uh, church. We're going to wander down the footpath here, out of the village. 
done about eight miles now, so what would that leave? Another six to do. Enjoyable walk so far. I think to tax in. A few ups, but I think too drastic. There you have it. Hinton House. Very impressive. Carry along this way through the parkland. There's Midford Castle over there on the side of the hill. We'll be going under that hill and then into Bath. Yes, I said under. You'll see why in a while. Uh, we're going to start to use the railway. That's uh, just about there. I don't know if you can see it. Just in front of that bright green field. We use the uh, old railway bed to walk into Bath. First of all, see we need to go down there. So let's carry on down this uh, really nice green lane. Been walking down it since uh, Pipe House. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's the old mill house. It's great. And uh, there's the footbridge across it. Right, let's go. Just got to Midford, seven miles to Bath on the National Cycle Route number 24. So that's where we want to head. So we'll be following the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway between here and Bath. So the walk-in shouldn't be so bad really. I'm guessing this was the station platform. Yep, they've got an interesting little uh, diagram there. Just going to rest here, have a drink and something to eat, and then we'll press on. This bit I've been looking forward to. This is Coombe Down Tunnel. It's uh, a mile long. It's the longest tunnel with a cycleway. 1874 it was opened and oh, there we go tells you all about it so the Coombe Down Tunnel is uh, 1670 meters and it takes 25 minutes to walk so the next 25 minutes I won't see the light I am looking forward to this this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this walk because this looked really interesting. So what we got? 18 minutes past three. And it's certainly gone uh, quite chilly already. Obviously I'm not going to film it all the way because it's going to be fairly boring because <laughs> it's going to be much the same. I did hear that they played classical music to you as you walk through it but obviously that isn't the case is it hey never mind whoops just got dripped on right I'll bring you back when we get to the end or if anything exciting happens in the roadway there's these little markers to tell you how far you've gone so 200 meters I've done 1500 to go come into a really straight bit now you can see the light at the end of the tunnel no you can't people come down on their bikes thought you were a train coming the other way <laughs> we've just gone over halfway 800 meters to go to 900 I wondered if it might be a bit scary but it's okay maybe getting close to the end oh yes I can see light at the end of the tunnel I think that's what the expression is fantastic if you're ever down towards Bath come and do it it's an experience There we go, the end of the Coombe Down Tunnel. And we've come out at 24 minutes to four. Now we've been under the hill. We certainly are 
in uh, Bath territory. Right, I'm going to wander up here to uh, the allotments. Whoops. So here's all the allotments. Quite overgrown. But yeah, cool all the same. Just coming into Alexandra Park and we should be getting some stunning views of Bath in a little while. There we have it. Our final destination, the Abbey. Last time I was there was uh, when I finished the Cotswold Way. Right, let's press on. On and down, by the looks of it. Got to get over the other side and cross the river. Should be a subway here. Oh yeah, here we go. Like Gloucester. Bath was a Roman city, so they have their gate streets. We're going to go up to South Gate Street first. If I'm not mistaken, it should be right here, and the Abbey should be in front of us. There it is. Almost destination reached. Saxon King's Way. Pump rooms. Well, I really enjoyed that walk. Walk through the tunnel was amazing. Scenery was pretty good too. Thank you. <laughs> and here we go to the roundel, the end of the Cotswold Way. So I can link this up with the Cotswold Way. And there's Bath Abbey. Hope you've enjoyed my walk of the Saxon King's Way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.